So hello and welcome again, Micropunter here. Um, this is a potato, of course, and what I want to do today is I want to look at some potato starch grains under polarized light. It's a very straightforward and simple um, investigation, and I think you're gonna enjoy. It looks pretty nice. Well, let's uh, start out first by putting a small drop of uh, water on a microscope slide and uh, then a scratch of uh, some of the potato starch grains using a conventional kitchen knife. Um, and uh, I transfer them on, on the slide and what I see it's slightly yellowish. Cover glass goes on top of it as always. And we are ready to go. It's one of the uh, easiest uh, specimens to prepare. Um, and uh, what I will do first is, is uh, I put it of course on the stage, I center everything, it's important to do that, otherwise uh, the small starch grains are kind of difficult to find. And I place a linear polarizing filter on my light source uh, because the starch grains are polarizing. And a second filter, the so-called analyzer, goes on top. Um, and I start microscopy and uh, what I see at the beginning is it's not very interesting but when I turn one of the filters you can see the background go dark and uh, this is because uh, the light is uh, cancelled out by the second polarizer and all those white dots these are the starch grains and uh, at a higher magnification again and now you can see that the starch grains they have a very nice uh, pattern this uh, cross like pattern is uh, very typical for polarizing substances uh, we can also see a similar pattern when we look at uh, vitamin C and other crystals uh, under the polarized light. So that is basically lots of starch grains. That's basically um, at uh, a 10 times with a 10 times uh, magnifying objective. And uh, I basically um, always turn the polarizing filter a little bit uh, to make sure that the background is nice and dark. And yeah, here that's basically um, at another place. And you can see that the starch grains have this very small cross-like appearance in them. And this is because the starch grain is uh, polarizing. Yeah, and you can see when I shake it, uh, you can actually see the starch grains move a little bit because they're suspended in water. Now that we have looked uh, at the starch grains under polarized light, now let's switch over to dark field. Yeah, and this here is now dark field. So I added the dark field patch stop, uh, I, I put it into the filter holder and now we can see the starch grains, um, but now they appear dark, uh, but the edges of the starch grain are white because this is uh, where the light is uh, diffracted. And uh, it looks again a little bit different. Uh, and uh, not every specimen is very suitable for dark field microscopy. You have to have a difference in refractive index and this is uh, the case here. And you can see that the starch grains do look a little bit purple. Yeah, it's slightly higher magnification. It's interesting a little bit to see how a, a slight change in filter, how, how what a big effect this can have. And I think it looks nice. Actually, I think it's even look, it looks even nicer than the polarized one um, because uh, I could uh, go up to a higher magnification this way because the filter was too thick. The polarizing filter was too thick, so I could not use a higher um, magnifying objective. Yeah, and just for comparison, this is without any filter at all. So this is uh, basically in a bright field. And yeah, the contrast is not, yeah, you still see the starch grains, of course, but I think it's not quite as nice looking as if you have a very nice contrast be between the starch grains like this, for example, and the background. Yeah, so that's basically a simply a static image that I now took. And here they are again. It's in dark field. And now again, polarized light. Yeah, okay, so uh, this uh, was it uh, again. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a nice day and uh, happy micro hunting. Bye bye.